Here we are in our five bedroom multi-lets, uh, about halfway through the renovation. The property's been ripped out fully um, and we're starting to put it back together. As you can see, we're in bedroom one. Uh, you can see our death hall is relatively conservative. Uh, there will be a few uh, future characteristic furnishings coming in, but it's nothing too controversial. We want to appeal to the wider market. Um, so yeah, we don't want people coming in worrying about quirky coloured walls and all the rest of it. Follow me. We'll see the rest of the house. Second bedroom, a uh, little darker in here. Um, again, much like the previous, uh, we ripped the property out and we started putting it back together. The picture rugs were off um, and we were just starting with first paint. Uh, first layers of coat, half paint, uh, radiators are on the walls um, and it's, it's, it's slowly coming back together. Uh, the very dated Water closet, fully ripped out, pastures are in, uh, and that's starting to dry. It'll be a, another week or two before we can really go back to work on that. Um, the soil pipe is in, it is in, um, and so that's going to start coming together over the next couple of weeks. We are about four to six weeks into the refurbishment so far, and there's probably another four to go. So uh, you may remember from last time. This is the reception room, so we do have fire doors here. Um, not the prettiest, but hey, that's, that's a requirement for us. Last time we mentioned moving the boiler down into the kitchen to, to open up that space in the, in the big family bathroom. We've got it here now, fully installed, ready to go. Um, kitchen is uh, probably going to be the last bit to come together, but those, those hideous red tiles are off the walls, again white. Uh, very white house, um, and uh, this will be coming together in the next three or four weeks. Follow me upstairs, and we'll see the rest of the house. So this is the, uh, the bedroom which we actually cut in half. This is going to be a drying space for the students or professionals. Uh, lovely big room. I uh, can certainly get a little laundry in here, so they're really going to be spoiled with this one. And the other half of the master bedroom, still a very good sized double bed um, upstairs in the house. This will be the third bedroom for the property. As you can see, lovely big space. Um, doesn't really stand out. You know, all the bedrooms are pretty uniform in this property. You're not going to be having debates among the tenants over who's paying a little bit more for the big ensuite room, all the rest of it. They're all pretty uniform, which is great. I love that. Fourth bedroom again, coming together. Um, coming in, just just have a look out the back garden. It's it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but it is coming together. Um, that will be the absolute last thing that we do in the property. But it, it's a it's a really good size. Believe it or not, somewhere down there there is a pond. Uh, we've not actually ventured out to to uh, to assess how deep it is, but there's uh, there's a little bit of wildlife out there. It's uh, pretty quirky. And the bathrooms, you'll remember that this was one big family bathroom. Um, we've got a uh, towel rail here, radiator, sink, and a pretty big shower. So both spaces are pretty big. Uh, we know that some uh, uh, micro landlords put these uh, little 90 by 90 shower spaces in with the, with the curved door, and you can just about wash your armpits in there. But uh, no, there's, there's lots of space there, sing and dance in this one. Same on the other side. And again, it's exactly the same. You've got the, the towel rail just behind the door here, sink, toilet sink, and this lovely big shower. This morning we're actually uh, putting this onto the wall. We've just cut it and uh, we'll be sticking it shortly. Finally, we're into the last bedroom. Again, good size. We're not actually going to leave the industrial hoover in. That's um, a little bit better than a Henry. Uh, but yeah, no, that's, that's just for workspace in here. Maybe a better view of the garden, you can see. So it's, it's a really good length, but it's, it's going to need a bit of grooming, the manscaping going on there. Keep following, there'll be more to come. Uh, we'll do a whirlwind, uh, whirlwind round 
once we're finished, but just, uh, just to progress to keeping the loop. Thanks for watching. Here are some of our videos on walkthroughs, projects we funded, and future stuff. Up here, we've got Q&A, so please do keep in touch. It's going to be a lot of helpful resources getting out. And one last thing, don't forget to subscribe.